Okay, so we're going to install Adobe Creative Cloud on a Mac computer. First thing we want to do is go up to the Apple sign and go force quit. And we're going to quit all the applications that are open right now. Now, best thing to do is always restart your computer before doing this. That way there won't be any errors. Now, once you've closed all the programs, you're going to go into um, Applications in your Finder window. And you're going to go to Utilities. And then you're going to open up Adobe Installers. And you're going to run this file and any other file in there. Now basically if you've installed Adobe before, so if you had CS6 or you had a trial version, you're going to uninstall it before installing Adobe Creative Cloud. So we just put our Mac password in here and the uninstallation process will go through and erase all of Adobe products. Once that is done, we can now go to Google and search for students on the hub. The New South Wales students on the hub website is where we'll get the new Adobe Creative Cloud. So we'll go to sign in. Now if you haven't already done a, uh, a register, a register um, please register on this website using your school email and then you can go through and proceed to add Creative Cloud to your cart and you can just go check out and just go through all the um, the next few pages in order to get your license so they just want your username and your signature here so just copy those things and then hit accept now Windows 10 comes with this automatically for free but you don't have to use it I'm just going to hit proceed with order now this is important you just want order receipt so don't hit the download button, just hit the order receipt. And what's going to happen now is it's going to retrieve your product key. Now this is very important. This product key is going to be used to verify your Adobe Creative Cloud license. Now I'm going to take a screenshot of this because that product key will disappear from this website in about a month's time. I'm also going to copy the redemption code or the product key and I'm going to save it into a Word document. The website will only hold your product key for about a month so it's very important that you create a copy of these license keys just in case you lose it. So now I'm going to hit redeem now. It's going to take me to Adobe's website and here if you haven't already created an Adobe ID um, just register but everyone who has previously had Adobe installed on their computer would have had an Adobe ID and it'd be your school email. So just type that in and the password would have been something um, eight characters long, capital letter, would have had to have a number, so it would have been a, a uh, complicated password. So just go through here. This is the redemption part, so you copy the redemption code from there, you enter it in, just copy and paste it in verify it and once it's verified we click on get started you can now download the creative cloud app just a few basic questions
and now the Adobe Cloud installer will be on your computer. You can click on that and once it's open you can double click on it to run the installer put in your Mac password it will start downloading Creative Cloud and once it's downloaded it will install it now this will take most likely a little bit longer um, on your computer than it is on mine now if you're at school it'll ask for a proxy password if you're at home this won't come up but this is um, your username and password for the internet um, followed by at DTNSW so that's only if you're at school but if you're at home you should get straight to this screen which is your Adobe ID sign in screen so just put in your Adobe ID which is your school email and then that complicated password Now at any time you have forgotten your Adobe ID, just click Forgot Password and it will send you a verification email. Once you have signed in, you can go up to these tabs and the first thing you probably want to do is go to Apps and download the Adobe CC apps that you're interested in. Start with Photoshop and you can install and uninstall using this little drop down uh, toolbar that's that's going to always be on top of the, the bar at top here. Um, you've got other things as well which is really cool from from Adobe so check out all this other stuff as well.